The aorta is the largest artery in your body that starts at your heart, passes through the chest, and then through the abdomen. The aorta next to the heart is called the ascending thoracic aorta because it is moving upward, and the artery past the blood vessels to the head and arms is called the descending thoracic aorta because it is moving downward away from the heart. This is a rendition of an aneurysm in the descending thoracic aorta. A wire is being inserted from the femoral artery in the groin, followed by the main endovascular device inside the blue catheter you can see moving upwards. Using contrast and a special kind of x-ray called fluoroscopy, we are able to confirm the correct position of the device and slowly deploy it. Once the device is fully expanded, it is secure. As you can see, the device is not long enough to have a seal below the aneurysm, so a second device is inserted through the blue catheter you now see moving into the first device. The second device is slowly deployed and enough overlap is given between the two components so that frictional forces hold the second device in place. Once the bottom of the device is open, it is secure. At this point, we use contrast and fluoroscopy again to make sure that the repair is complete and that there are no leaks into the aneurysm around the graft. Finally, the wires are removed and the repair is complete.